If you don't know by now, a mule is actually a cross between a female horse, or mare, and a male donkey, otherwise known as a jackass. These beasts of burden first came to America by way of Columbus in 1495, and by the mid-18th century, George Washington recognized mules for their agricultural value and started the first breeding program in the New World. Washington, the father of America and of the American mule. Pack animals have worked the trails of the San Gabriel Mountains since 1893, and those early trailblazers knew the value of a good mule. As legend would have it, they took greater care in choosing a mule than they did a wife. Now that's devotion. A trait that comes in handy on the tricky trails of the Angeles National Forest. Because trekking hundreds of pounds of supplies four and a half miles through rocky, unstable terrain isn't exactly a cakewalk. But after a couple of hours of trail bouncing, the train arrives at the cabins. Cam? Cam, how's it going? Good, good, good pack today. So we finally made it to the end. We're going to deliver all the supplies that we brought in and we'll start unloading it. But what comes in must come out. Of course, we dropped off um, some full propane tanks, and now I'm picking up some empty propane tanks, and next week we'll bring back in uh, the full propane tanks. For Fred, Kenny, and the rest of the pack, it's all in a day's work. Ready to saddle up for a taste of the Old West? Here's a tip. Escape the city's summer heat and fall in behind Fred and his posse for a cool hike back in time and follow a long tradition. One of the things that's so cool about being part of this is that we're using the same method that has been used for hundreds of years. It's a little slice of Americana here in our canyon, and it's nice to be part of it. <laughs> 